minutes in. Oh, he's done it. Has six Grand Slam events. He had a spectacular finish to his third round earlier this morning. The fourth slope. Harrington to get back to even for the championship. You know, that would have been a great mental boost. 34 out of four, out of four in a row, didn't he, on the back nine? Mm -hmm. Very similar to what he'd been doing at Birkdale. Great back nine. So, back to the at two. And Patrick Harrington, he's going to try the three wood. Yeah, this one's headed down the right side. right there, but that's just going to stay on the first cut of rough. He'll have last round, number one in putting. And now this is live. 245 for Padre, only 220 to the front. He's trying to hit it all. Boy, hit the false front. That thing is going to go off the, just on the front fringe there, but uh, on the green, if he gets going too hard past that hole, looking to roll back in that chipping area. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, that was beautiful. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very fast in the first second day. Oh, shaken but not stirred. Let's go to three. Harrington. He too has a five iron. He too backed off for a moment. Giving it the major champion stare there. This will move gently left the entire way. Downhill, just too firm to take any break. Just dead downwind from the left, 151 yards. A good solid play from that far back. Sure is, Peter. He's left himself uh, 16, 18 feet for birdie. But Not much to this firm, but needs to be a little cautious of the speed. Back to five. Padraig Harrington. 191 yards. He's chosen a six iron. He better cut this back up into the wind. Uh-oh. This is a double cross. He he went for the cut back into the breeze and uh, oh goodness. He's gonna have stress now. Padraig Harrington after getting relief. Uh, he had to go for the big explosion shot, and uh, you know, there's the experience of a major championship winner there. He didn't try to get greedy and bring Six into play. He's just going to give himself a 25-footer for par and walk away with a bogey. Bid, Bid for par. And Padraig Harrington's taking a three-wood here. He is really long with his club, however, Ian. And this is on a wonderful line as well. 270 yards to the water down the right side, so essential that they get it in the fairway here. Middle of the fairway, but uh, quite a long way to go. 201 yards, Peter. And he's chosen a, a four iron, which uh, he's going to just have to hammer to get it back there, I would think. Finds that front left bunker. Another long bunker shot coming up. It's a great partner in the Ryder Cup. That's for sure to watch Harrington. This was a 35-yard shot earlier that... Uh, actually, those, those bunker shots even have been made easier by the rain. Yeah, nice Come firm base. Sand, yeah. He grinds it out again like you saw at the Open Championship at Royal Birkdale where he won his second Open title. And get everything behind it. Now Harrington. Out of the first cut, only had 212 yards. Much more solid tee shot, and that's well done. For the first birdie of the day at this hole, it's just a par. Well, only 16.7% of the field have hit this green earlier at number nine. And we're going to find Padraig Harrington over here in this bunker, right-hand side. Of the three players, he had by far the easiest opportunity to get it up and down, Gary. He's, left, right, he's hanging right on that left edge. Starts at left edge and just curls right in the middle. Our bunker play has kept him in this game today. Got to try and get it flag high to avoid the massive hump. Uh, just does that very well. Harrington and Sergio.
pours it in. Wow, after all that great scrambling. Mm -hmm. Now he is right in the back. Only four players in red numbers. Let's go over to the 11. And a great view of the challenge. Second shot at 11 for Portry. 166 yards. He started this out to the right, Peter. Couple of feet to the left, I'm going to skip back. Positively. Yeah. <laughs> Almost. Yeah. Holding confidently as he did at Royal Birkdale. This oh. was earlier Padraig Harrington's tee shot at 12. Those bunkers run all the way out to about 300 and nearly 400 yards down the left so he started it way out to the right and didn't quite bring it back enough oh that'll be tremendous at number 12. well you got harrington going right he's from the right side he had 259 a reasonable lie wow that's brave when you wow that is swoop it out look at he's hit over the green well, that's pretty darn good because no look where the hole location is in that back hollow so meanwhile harrington wow Slicing it up into the oh. Unbelievable. This man, I think he's got he's got his own couple of greens in his back garden and boy, all those thousands of hours. This for Birdie. Yeah. You wouldn't have you wouldn't have guessed that off the tee. Padre Harrington. He went with a five iron bill and just struck it beautifully. Nice little knockdown five iron. Great birdie chance for Harrington below the hole. Got it. Game on. You know, winning all four in a row, not necessarily in a calendar year, but I don't remember right. thinking about Harrington when we thought about that concept. Let's go to 14. And there's the tee shot for Harrington. Well, once again, he gets a good bounce. He's outside of a real bad rough running. Stay so calm. A much shorter shot from 147. That'll feed. That's that'll feed down. Watch this. That is super quick from there. That's a pretty good response to all the drama of seeing your opponent right now. Uh, Almost as close. Wow, just a different way of that, doing it. Yeah. Last two holes, two poor putts by Harrington standards. He's putted well all day. Oh. Well, he finds the bottom of the cup with a par there. Three holes to go for Harrington. He's one behind Sergio Garcia and Ben Curtis. Right down that walkway. Well, he hasn't blinked in about three hours. Perfect, very nice. And he will have a good look at it. And he has hit that way down there. Gary, he's got an eight iron, which to me is a whole lot of club. And this is the same mistake he made back on five. So much club that yeah. he quit on it and pulled it. Yeah, it happens all the time. Doesn't matter what level, isn't it? Okay, he's trying to get the feel of this length of this swing now. Drives in, he's going to fly all the way there. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, and it tumbled forward. What was that? He must have got a rock or something in between the club and the yeah, ball. Yeah, he's looking at the face, Gary. Yeah. Oh, man. Gutted it. It's uphill. The wind may be helping a fraction, but wow. Well, this was a fairly aggressive swing. Wow. What a shot. With 17. Harrington for 30. Look, putting under pressure. Fantastic. He bogeyed this hole the first two rounds, part yesterday, and brushes it in. So if you hit the green for that matter in regulation. So on its way. This is very, very high. 
He's gritting his teeth. It's not going to make it. Oh, wow. Did it? And underneath the face yes, as well. Is. So that will mm -hmm. be a layup out. So. Mm -hmm. A little fat. Cut it a little heavy. Yeah. Oh, oh no. what a mistake oh, that is. That is, oh my goodness. He'll be, uh, what a mistake. Hard pressed to get this next one to stay on the green. They just love three put it here. 96 old levels. Absolutely ripped it. How's this look, Peter? Up in the guts. It's up to the right, I believe, just a little bit. Oh, it's a great shot. They'll have a putt for par. In. Oh! He's done it! What a four. Podrick Harrington. Podrick Harrington, winner of the 90th PGA Championship.